Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing great. It's been a little while since we covered anything on the channel. Today we're going to be going over a bunch of scarlet and violet leaks and not like we've been covering before because it's going to get very in-depth. I've been ill for the last week so I've been pretty much bed bound trying to recover, trying to get back on my feet which I did yesterday and you can imagine my surprise when I opened Twitter up yesterday and saw the absolute storm that had been going on there for the past few days. So we're going to try and break everything down in today's episode, get caught up with where we are. But with that in mind, please, please, please be aware that there are going to be some probably big spoilers in this video. So if you want to try and stay a little bit spoiler free, this isn't going to be your regular kind of coup Riddler update video. This is going to be going into some pretty specific things in this video. So please, if you want to stay a little bit spoiler free, probably a good time to turn the video off and come back when we get back on track with Riddler Coup and our more wholesome kind of leak videos because like I say a lot has been going on the past week um, and we're going to dive right in and cover it. Uh, so without further ado because we got a bunch to kind of catch up on we'll just dive straight over into it. Now the main topic that we're going to take is from Pokemon Leaks over on Twitter. They have put a compilation of Kaka's leaks together. Now Kaka for those of you who are unaware um, is a Japanese, I guess, a Japanese individual that we, it hasn't really been confirmed, but it appears as though they are a beta tester. They've got the game, they've played it, and now they are kind of skimming out leaks on Twitter every day. As we speak, they are tweeting right now. So there is more still to come out. There is more to cover, but there is a big kind of question mark over them. There's a lot of things getting lost in translation, I believe. So as always, these are not official leaks. Take them with a grain of salt. I question a lot of this myself. So we'll go through it and I'll give you my two cents on it as we go through the video today. So uh, as you can see, Pokemon Leaks has put a compilation together and that is what we're going to look at right now. So you can see a bit more in depth here. Uh, we've got the regional gameplay information is what they've kind of compiled first of all region in japanese is called so this was the, the the region name in japanese i will just say pokemon serena or poker serena did put together a her own compilation of leaks and you can see here a uh, japanese name of scarlet and violet region in japanese is this pronunciation or the translation into english is Peru perudia perudia but i would take that with a pinch of salt honestly because i feel like the the name when it is translated into English or whatever kind of uh, localization, it is not always the same as it is in Japan. So, you know, it can be changed and the localization teams in Pokemon will change that to make it a bit more appropriate for the area. So I would take that with a grain of salt. Uh, we can see there are three cities and nine towns in the game. So um, that is supposedly how many cities and towns we've got for to make up the, the base games, at least of Scarlet and Violet. Gyms can be done in any order, uh, though teams levels don't change. Now, my opinion on this is, so that according to this, there'll be no level scaling. I don't believe that to be true. I think if you can do the gyms in any order, there has to be level scaling. So I, again, take that with a pinch of salt. Um, I just don't see that being a thing in these games. It doesn't make sense. You can't rock up to any gym and then there'll be no leveling uh, for those gyms. It makes no sense for them to be in any order if there isn't any level scaling against that. So again, that might be lost in translation. Who knows? Each gym can be cleared twice in the main game which makes sense. You can go back and rebattle the gym leaders. Uh, so that'd be a nice feature, I guess. You can, uh, you need to clear three routes quests in order to see the ending. Well, uh, okay, that's that's cool. Uh, but we got no context for that. Clearing routes, clearing quests, uh, we don't know what they are. So uh, I'd imagine there will be things that you're gonna have to do throughout the game to progress because it is open world, but there are still gonna be things that you're gonna have to do to open certain gates in the game to progress to certain other parts. Uh, your rival is a girl with red, blue hair, uh, and the champion is male or female depending on the version, which is pretty cool. So there's potentially two 
two different uh, champions that we can have across the games. It gives a bit of variety, a bit different from both uh, versions of the game, which is cool. So then we move on to general Pokemon information. Regional Pokedex has around 400 Pokemon. Uh, now I've seen really conflicting information around this from like 350 right up to 500. This is stating 400. So who knows? I think that is up for debate at the minute until we get any further confirmation uh, the regional pokedex 400 seems about right for a regional pokedex uh, i would have said when i saw the 500 i thought mm, it's probably a bit too much i don't know because you're going to have a national dex within there as well as the regional dex and that's normally what they do uh, regional dexes are normally a little bit smaller around like 250 to 300 rather than that 400 but who knows depends how many new pokemon we're going to have in these games there is an EV subquest that EV fans will enjoy. Okay, um, but it has been confirmed as well, or oh, supposedly leaked as well, that there'll be no new evolution in these games. Minya, Furfu, uh, Apom, Tucanon, Wubat, Applin, and Beedrill are not in the games. Again, I would take this all with a pinch of salt. Uh, no previous generation starters are in the game. <sighs> I. I don't know. I don't know how much I believe that, but I mean, this is, we're just going to take it at face value at the minute. Mysterious Sunflora, Gudra, Rotom, uh, Kamala, Teriosa, Weezing, Houndor, uh, Squawvit, Mimikyu, and Magikarp are in the game. Uh, not all of the Hisuian forms are in the game. Again, mm, it seems a bit of a stretch for the new Hisuian forms, which are you know, exclusive to PLA, for them not to be in the games. We've got Hisuian uh, Zoroark uh, already confirmed in the games. You know, we've seen that from official clips. So it would be, it, it would surprise me if we don't get all of them in the new games. Um, new Pokemon information. Sprigatito's evolution is so, so in terms of cuteness. Fiococo's evolution looks similar to an alligator. You know, the, the information that we've had from Ku about uh, Fuecoco and its evolution. I mean, alligator, crocodile, we've had a bunch of stuff from Ku that kind of confirms that anyway. Uh, no new fossil Pokemon, a new flamingo Pokemon, a new dolphin Pokemon, new notable fire type Pokemon, that is not the starter. New Lolly Waifu Pokemon that uses a hammer and is one of the Elite Four Aces. Now, Ku has come out and kind of confirmed this. So we'll get onto that a little bit later on. But that does seem like something that will be in the games. Coriadon and Myriadon um, don't have five forms. I guess it depends what you're looking at for the forms. If they're ride Pokemon and they can ride, I mean, is that a form or is that just a way of transport around the games? So it's questionable because Ku has kind of come out and and, and uh, well, slightly hinted at this sort of thing already. Uh, there is a new group of four legendaries like the Tapus, uh, Swords of Justice, etc. So there'll be new, like the the kind of the the the, the su not pseudo legendaries, but four legendary Pokemon uh, that we can get. So four of those ones. That's pretty exciting. And Lechonk's evolution is different depending on the gender. And I think this is something that we'd already heard from Ku anyway about a split Evo from Lechonk. So we we know that the, the female version is going to be more of a, um, a Miss Piggy sort of style evolution. Uh, new Pokemon forms evolution. Wooper gets a new regular regional form. Uh, Hypno gets a new form, which this I think is being lost in translation here. There's a lot of misinformation, like I've said already. Now, if uh, we go back to a tweet from Blaze Incineroar here, uh, he's been reposting a lot of this information. You can see here, Hypno's back, but nothing new. So there's a little bit of conflicting uh, information here already. So the, the Hypno uh, gets a new form, I don't know. Again, there is a lot of misinformation. This is why I keep saying, take this all with a grain of salt. Milkrow has a new evolution. Dunsparce has a new evolution, but doesn't fly. Well, we knew kind of like from Ku's hints, uh, Dunsparce gets a, a new evolution. Uh, Jigglypuff gets an ancient form, does not get a future form. So this is kind of interesting. And also with the Amoongus form is similar to an ancient form. So there was some images leaked out as well. Um, in regards to this leaker, there was an image of a Jigglypuff 
used as their kind of profile picture for a little while, um, which was this Jigglypuff. So this is supposedly the, the ancient form of Jigglypuff. And uh, I do think there is one of Amoongus as well. So these are kind of ancient forms um, because there is some sort of Pokemon time traveling in the games. Supposedly the Pokemon uh, can time travel, which would make sense for Pokemon to have uh, an ancient form. And I like the idea of that. I do like the idea of it, um, but I, I still feel like we need a bit more information on it right now because um, it would line up, I guess, with Muriadon and Coridon, uh, how we've got that kind of past form or present form in there and then other Pokemon can have their ancient forms um, or a future form, which we haven't really seen any future forms as of yet, I don't think anyway. So there are two images that got leaked out um, and supposedly they're the ancient forms for those two Pokemon. And then we move on to the gimmick. A bunch of information came out uh, specifically yesterday about the gimmick and how it works. So it comes from a special ball that Nimona gives you and can be used once per battle. Uh, it can be used on all Pokemon but reverts when they are called back, knocked out, which makes sense. You know, most gimmicks, are, you know, if you do switch out, uh, they do revert. I mean, Megas did so Mega stayed in that form or you know for the entirety of the battle uh, until they were knocked out um, so that kind of I guess makes sense on use the Pokemon has a crystal aura and an additional flourish like the skull on the flower Pokemon now we can go back to I think some images that were posted I think it's in uh, Poker Serena's um, kind of summary of this where you can see that specific image here uh, if i pull it up now you can have a look at this and this is the the image that was leaked skull flower related to the crystal gimmick which you can see here um everyone has been kind of suggesting that this is a leap um uh, in, in the crystal form and then you've got this kind of crystal skull Skull, I guess, or motif above it, which kind of looks crystally, uh, which is kind of indicating the poison type potentially. So that's what that is referring to uh, specifically. So uh, it, some Pokemon are supposedly able to get a, a kind of a form change, uh, whereas others just get an aura around them in regards to that. So um, Pokemon in this form has a single type boosted. This type can be changed. So it's pretty much like giving a stab boost to a Pokemon, like their type specifically isn't changing. So Pikachu is not gonna change from an electric type. Um, with the gimmick, it's not gonna get added a different type. According to this uh, information, it's gonna get like a stab boost. So if you wanna give Pikachu like a fire type, for instance, that has been hinted at, uh, it will get like, it won't get the fire typing added to it. It will get the fire stab boost added to it. So like a 1.2, 1.5 uh, boost on top of it using a fire type uh, move, if that makes sense. And you can change, uh, you, you've got the option to change supposedly what kind of the, 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 the type boost that you get with the gimmick. And that's what the gimmicks uh, looking like it is. An example is using normal type of the gimmick increases the strength of tackle other normal moves. Yes, yeah, so I mean, basically what we've just said about like stab. So that is pretty much most of the, the information, the leaks that have come out so far. There is a bunch of other things that we've obviously kind of skipped over and not covered in these leaks. But like I say, uh, I'll link this um, Twitter article down in the description and I will also link uh, Poker Serena's um, leak here, uh, kind of synopsis of everything because I think this one here that Poker Serena's done, it covers pretty much everything that we've seen so far. You've got the, the Paul Me evolution as well. That was the, kind of the first thing that we got that kicked started all of these leaks off and then you've got obviously the, the, the kind of crystal gimmick here. Gym leaders, uh, supposedly, gym leaders have been leaked. A lot of it does add up to what Ku's been putting out as well, especially this one here, which is meant to be the dark type gym leader. We can we covered this leak back when Ku posted this out, her voice soul or soulless, and it pretty much adds up pretty well here. Um, we've had a giraffe rig uh, Evo as well, so this is. Um, yeah, this is something. Um, and then we've got the the more obscure images, which are all blurred. This is supposedly Sprigatito's Evo, or part of its neck. 
Um, and then the, the Amoongus, which we've shown, we've got a blurry picture of a flamingo for that flamingo Pokemon. Supposedly the Chonks Evo as well as the Jigglypuff. And then, I mean, I don't even want to talk about this. I mean, that it's just the, the blurriness is understandable if you want to kind of try and get away with it. But I mean, at this point, you're so deep. I mean, what's the point really if you are leaking stuff? Uh, so, But this is supposedly Quaxley's Evo. Um, and then Poker Serena goes on to kind of uh, wrap up like all of the other things in here, which I'm going to just leave for you. If you want to go and check this out, it will be linked down in the description. But big shout out to um, Pokemon Leaks and Poker Serena for putting together this kind of synopsis. It made it a lot easier for myself to kind of catch up on. And I'm sure it will for a bunch of you as well uh, to catch up on. So going back to one of the points about the, the Lolly Waifu Pokemon with the hammer. This is the tweet that Coos put out um, this morning or yesterday, late yesterday. Uh, we decided to piggyback off the leg off his legacy, referring to the, the Lika from Japan. Uh, he mentioned the hammer, right? Actually, it was the Waifu Mon that we would like to tease in June, but it was voted third. So there was a poll that Koo put up about what we'd be doing next in June. Um, and this one didn't win the, the poll. So this is not what he teased. So I got shafted and postponed. And now thanks to him, say welcome to your lolly Waifu, also the A of the Mon for one Elite Four member. So pretty much confirming what's being put out that uh, Ku, Ku is reliably uh, backing up there. You've got to take everything, I think, with a grain of salt. All the stuff that we've covered in today's video will be linked down below. And it is a lot uh, to kind of take in. Uh, it definitely was for me yesterday, but I felt like I needed to kind of cover this, give my two cents on it all. Do I believe it all? I don't know. I think there's kind of conflicting information here. I think there's a lot of things that could be corroborated by what Ku said. And like I've said before, I trust what Ku's putting out more than I probably trust any other leaker. So for some of the information to be backed up by Ku specifically, does give this a bit more legitimacy, I guess. But I still feel like you could probably take a lot of what Ku said and, you know, I could create a fake account and start pumping information out. And just because it corroborates with what Ku's been putting out, um, is it is it, you know, is it legit or not? I don't know. I would just say be cautious with it all. Uh, take it all with a grain of salt. Hopefully we get some official information soon and um, hopefully Koo keeps putting information out and um, keeps doing the stuff that he has been doing because I, I, I personally, as much as I'm one for knowing what the games are like, I do agree with a lot of the community where, you know, if we get too much stuff put out now, there's four months till the release of these games and it's going to be a heck of a long four months. I personally prefer the kind of intrigue that we've been getting from Koo. I've been getting this like drip fed information and it can be stuff that we speculate. It makes it exciting as well, whereas this feels like it is a little bit too much. So. Let me know down in the comment section below though. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you would like to see me cover going forward. Would you like to see me cover more of these leaks? Because it doesn't look like this person is gonna be stopping anytime soon. So expect more things to come out today. Again though, the mistranslation, it, are things as they are speaking it? Do they know everything about the games? And I don't know, is this actually are these real leaks? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm just taking everything with a grain of salt at the minute. Like I say, let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear your opinion on whether you would like to see these things covered going forward. Or would you like us to go back to a more coup friendly leak video, which is probably my preference to be honest, but I thought I'd kind of as coming back today and feeling like I wanted to put something out after feeling so bad for the last week, um, I thought we probably should kind of keep on top and at least cover what has been come out the last few days. But um, like I said, there's a lot of information and it's all a bit i still i'm still digesting it so i'm sure you are and like i say it doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon i'm surprised this person has been allowed to kind of go on as long as they have which puts doubt in my mind again with how legitimate these and this information is we'll we'll come to see if it's true or not in four months for sure so you know there's no harm in having doubts about information that's come out i would have just said koozie man um, and 
everyone else might not be. We'll leave it there. Thanks so much for tuning in, friends. It's good to be back. We'll be streaming later on as well. We're going to be streaming our Radical Red playthrough later on. So our Nuzlocke and Radical Red, if you are around, uh, do come by. We'll be kicking off around 7.30. It should be a good evening. And uh, it'd be nice to get back in and uh, kind of catch up and touch base with you all. So till then, friends, take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.